I want to talk about capacity, uh, something which you we use in uh, everyday life. Now, these are some basic facts, some basic conversions that you should be aware of. And if you're not aware, this is good to remember. One teaspoon, one TSP is one step. One teaspoon is five milliliter. One TSP teaspoon is 5 milliliter. This is how you write 5 ml. Okay, so that's one fact you should know. Okay, and this is a this is a tube of 100 mils or 100 milliliter. So other facts that you should be knowing or you might be knowing is 1 liter is 1000 milliliters. 1000 milliliters. 1 liter is made up of 1000 milliliters. And say this is a container, ice cream container of say 2 liters. So that means this contains 2000, 2000 milliliters. Okay, now there's a relation between milliliters and centimeter cube. Now what is a centimeter cube? Now this is a cuboid or this is a cube. And imagine this each this big cube is made up of small cubes of one centimeter. Okay, so this is a cube. This cube, this cube is a cube of one centimeter cube. The volume of this cube is one centimeter cube. When you say one centimeter cube, you are talking about a cube of one centimeter length by uh, times one centimeter width and one centimeter height. Imagine a cube, so this is a cube, the length is one centimeter, the width is one centimeter, and the height is also one centimeter. And the volume that this cube uh, has is one centimeter cube, okay? And one centimeter cube is one something, even my year 13 students struggle to understand, one centimeter cube, is one milliliter. Now these are basic facts you should be knowing. One centimeter is one centimeter cube is one milliliter. Okay, it's a bit difficult to visualize, but that's a fact. Okay, so again I'll repeat: this is a cube of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, and that cube, in terms of centimeter, you can say it is centimeter cube and the volume is one milliliter. So let me rewrite. One centimeter cube is one milliliter. One milliliter. And one liter is 1,000 1, milliliters. You can say one kiloliter, KL, you write KL, stands for 1,000 liters. So these are basic facts you should know. And uh, so you can say one liter, you can say one liter is 1,000 centimeter cube. One liter is 1,000 centimeter cube. So how can we use this in real life? Suppose you have, let me draw a, a cuboid, a container, let me draw a 3D container. My drawing skills are not that good. It's all right. So if you can imagine a cube, a cuboid. So this is a 3D. This is a cuboid. Okay, say, now if you want to find what's the capacity in centimeter cubes and liters, suppose this is say, let's say this is 15 centimeters and say this is say 8 centimeters and say this is 4 centimeters, the height is 4 centimeters. So the volume would be length times width times height, so it is 15 centimeters times 8 centimeters times 4 centimeters. So first let's multiply the numbers so it will be some number times centimeter, not times, 
You're also multiplying the unit centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is centimeter cube. So let me get my calculator. You can go 15 times 8 times 4 equals 480 centimeter cube. And if you want to write this as milliliters, one centimeter cube is one milliliter. So this is 480 mils of 480 milliliters. So whenever some is someone is saying it's 480 milliliters, you should understand this is 480 centimeter cube. And if you want to change this into liters, you have to divide this by 1,000. So because one liter is 1,000 centimeter cube. Okay, or uh, one liter is also 1,000 milliliters. So you have to divide by 1,000. So let's divide by 1,000 equals 0 0.48 liters so this you can if you can if you talk in terms of liters you say it has got four zero point four eight 0.48 liters or 480 milliliters or 480 centimeter cube they all mean the same thing 